Okay, so we have a we have a sound. Torpedoes fired from submarines on Innsmouth, Massachusetts. The authorities are silent yep, on the subject. That's that's but what it happened. It seems that on the night of Tuesday, <clears throat> Innsmouth was attacked by government forces. The reasons for this assault are not clear. Rumors speak of a massive smuggling operation based in the almost unheard of fishing town in direct violation of the Prohibition Act. Perhaps it's better that the truth never sees the light of day. I had never heard of Innsmouth until the day before I saw it for the first time. I was celebrating my coming of age with a tour of New England, and had planned to go directly from antiquated Newburyport to Arkham, from whence the roots of my mother's bloodline emerged, when... I only have twenty dollars left. I wonder if there's any cheap means to get from here to Arkham. Twenty dollars should be pretty much in the 1920s. Pick up, man. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want... Look what at a man. peculiar person. And what a stench. And how? A garbage can. A garbage can. I don't want to use that. An old copy of the Arkham Gazette newspaper. No thanks. It's filthy. No thanks. Open man. No, no. Okay. Excuse me? What can I do for you? I'm trying to get to Arkham. You can take the 1605 steam locomotive for five dollars. Don't you have anything cheaper? An old bus departs every morning from the square back there, but I wouldn't recommend it. What's the problem with it? It's a wreck. It should be on the scrap heap by now. As well as the fact that it goes through Innsmouth. And people don't like that. Why? There are some stories about Innsmouth, mostly whispered. Strange cults, deals with the devil. I don't believe it. But it is true that the people there have a peculiar look about them. When you meet Joe the bus driver, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Joe you Sargent. You can just tell that they are not trustworthy. Where exactly is Innsmouth? That was the first I ever heard of Shadowed Innsmouth. It's located on the southeast coast. Strange. It's not on the map. Any reference to a town not shown on common maps would have interested me. And the agent's odd manner of illusion roused something like real curiosity. It's a place I wouldn't suggest to my worst enemy. A town able to inspire such dislike in its neighbors, I thought, must be at least rather unusual and worthy of a tourist's attention. If it came before Arkham, I would stop off there. If you are that interested, you should be more or less here. Thank you. Any advice on where to spend the night? Several hotels are on offer, but all are expensive. I've heard tell of a YMCA hostel, but I don't know exactly where it is. Maybe you could ask around. I guess I'll ask around then. Bye for now. Those are railway timetables. Those are railway. I could think this is actually a voice, a voice act. A man with a suitcase. Hello. Hey. Hey. Anyone in there? <laughs> he's too busy staring at that train. Or maybe he's just awfully rude. One or the other. Hello. Greetings. Do you know of any cheap way to get to Arkham? Ask at the ticket office. And now, if you'll excuse me... I only have twenty dollars left. I must budget wisely. Interesting. According to this map, Innsmouth does not exist. A gift from my grandfather for my coming of age. Hold him, Ben. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
some homeless guy. Hello. Look behind you! A free locomotive train! Where? <laughs> okay, so th this was basically um Monkey Monkey Island. I think you're drunk, buddy. Or were you quoting something? Yeah. This traffic is by a classic vault. Yeah. So basically, this is pretty close to the Shadow Over uh, is mod uh, HP Lovecraft story. So Newberry Bird is where the main character starts, and he he ends up uh, driving, going to bus to the Innsmouth. Uh, I think it's the livelihood of that homeless guy. Hey, leave my dinner alone! Blah. Hello. What do you want? Get lost! The hydrant is leaking. The hydrant is leaking. It's closed. This pharmacy is not open at night. It seems a circus has been by here long, long time ago. I, I don't know where to go. arrives in 46 minutes. Is there anything interesting here in Newburyport? The train station and the trains. And if someone wished to go somewhere other than the station? I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about Innsmouth? No train goes there. Ah, I see. They never finish the railway. I think I might have read something about it at the library. You know all the train times by heart? The 2006 direct via Dunwich, 747 for Kingsport, 809 direct for... Okay, okay, e enough already. Tell me about the library. It's two blocks from here, on State Street. Their collection is a tad lacking, but the librarian is very nice. I suppose you're also a model train set enthusiast? Sure! Really? Me too. Really? Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> Currently, I am touring this region by train. A few days ago, I attended an exhibition of old train models at the Boston Historical Society. It was absolutely incredible! Here in Newburyport, though, nothing but boring junk. That's a shame. But the owner of the YMCA has an incredibly rare Hornby train model just sitting right out there on a table. I know, right? Interesting. Tell me about the YMCA. I think I already mentioned the train model. You must go there. And anyways, it's a nice cheap place to okay. spend the night. Could so you tell me where it is? I don't know the name of the road exactly, but I can give you a general guide. Please do. From the station's entrance, proceed along State Street until you hit High Street. Turn left there and follow the road to the end. It's somewhere around there. Thanks. High Street and left. See ya. See you around. What a peculiar... And how. Mostly try and error of these point and click games some years ago. Hello? Hello? Am I speaking with one lone carter? That depends. Where did you get my number from? A mutual friend informed me of you and of your particular skill set. 
My name is Dr. Armitage. Ah, Armitage. I'm calling you concerning a matter of some urgency. Go on. Meet me at Miskatonic University at your soonest convenience. I will fill in the details then. Right off the bat. And to be frank, let me just mention that I'm not about cheap labor. You may rest assured, money is not an issue. Just so I know, though, who gave you my name? Professor Wilmarth. Ah, not a nice. Miskatonic University student. Um, a teacher. Armitage was one of those who uh, banished something at the Dunwich, Dunwich Horror. Okay, so we are here. So we have a deal. You must convince her to sell them. How many times must I repeat myself? Leave her alone. Must I remind you that my boss doesn't take no for an answer? But I... All right. Think it over. You have three days. Once you've made up your mind, call this number. But really, I... I don't... Shift it, moron. How rude. Who was that guy? I don't want to talk about it. Can you help me with something? Concerning? Binsmith. So, you are the good cop, eh? Uh. Huh? I will never change my mind. What the hell are you talking? Tell Marsh that I will ah, never give Marsh. in to his demands. So, um, the background is that uh, Call of Thulu role-playing game actually uh, draw uh, lots of information about uh, FBI raid to the Innsmouth, which is what we actually played, or part of it, uh, in, a, in a dark corners of the earth. If you want to watch it, it's, it's on my YouTube page. What do you mean? Wait, is this about that weird guy that just left? So, uh, you're not a stooge in the service of Mr. Marsh? He doesn't look like a fish. I apologize then. Uh, my mistake. Ask away. Do you have anything on Innsmouth here? I would not know. It is not a topic many ask about. Try the shelf at the back of the room. Essex section. I just got the weirdest deja vu back from when I worked at Miskatonic ten years ago. Okay. <laughs> they look like the... the door's open. Same. Where might I find Dr. Armitage? Ah, you must be Lone Carter. Doctor! Mr. Carter is here! Shh! This is a library for God's sake. Please excuse my calling. Greetings, Mr. Carter. I have been expecting you. I hope that you had a pleasant journey here. Let's just skip the small talk, Doctor. Very well. Wilmarth told me that you have not been discouraged by cases that seem to have no rational explanations. Have you ever heard of Innsmouth? Never. It's a small harbor town, a brief travel from here. It is known to few. My brother John, a professor of theology, was in contact with a local pastor there. After much correspondence with said pastor, he decided to go investigate the church there. That was three weeks ago. I have not heard from him since. I don't get it. This is a job for a rookie. Why didn't you just go to the police? Lone, our contacts have witnessed happenings beyond the realm of explanation. Sources in Innsmouth have reported things way beyond conventional comprehension. I see. Why didn't you just tell your brother not to go there then? He left only a brief note telling me of his mission. And by then it was too late. Dear brother, I'm off on a short jaunt over to Innsmouth. A friend may be in peril and in need of my help. If 
you do not hear back from me within the space of two weeks, please send help. Okay, a letter full of ramblings to his little brother. Do you have anything solid? Where is he staying? He mainly lodged here at the university. Let me show you to his room. I'll be leaving you to get on with your work. I have something else demanding my attention. I'll get straight to work. Okay, now we are playing the investigate, private investigator. It's a Bible. It looks like a rather old edition. There's something sticking out from under it. A letter. Better not. Judging from the dates, I don't have the complete set of letters yet. Better keep looking. Judging from the dates, better keep looking. Judging from the better keep looking. Judging from better keep looking. Can we use this? That wouldn't help. Nice big. There don't seem to be any writing materials on it. Looks like it was made up in a hurry. A candle, most likely used for reading in bed. There's another letter. Judging from the dates, I don't have the complete set of letters yet. Better keep looking. Okay, so third letter is somewhere. Better not. It's already closed. Another letter. Judging from the dates. Okay, how many one. how many letters are there? I got already got three of them. A bit of pixel hunting. This is all always like. Looks like you left a lot of stuff. Yeah, all, always part things. of these these kind of games. Looks like you left a lot of stuff behind in his hurry. I can't. I don't need. Can't. Judging from the dates, I don't have better keep looking. The bed looks like it was made up in a hurry. I don't need it. Pick up bed. I don't need it. <laughs> okay. Uh, open blanket. It won't open. I can't. Better not. Okay. Rather Spartan bed. I don't need it. I can't. A pillow is a Spartan. Okay, pool. Not push. Pool. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's another letter. This must be the latest. It's dated three weeks ago. Just around when the professor hastily departed. I'll just sneak a peek at his private letters. 1st September, 1919. Dear friend, how are you? 
I have just arrived in Innsmouth. I was quite unpleasantly surprised to find that the church here is not of the Christian faith, but rather dedicated to a cult named the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Have you ever heard of this order? Yours affectionately, Elliot. Okay. 23rd October, 1919. Dear friend, I came here to Innsmouth of my own free will, but already I am beginning to regret it. During this pilgrimage, I have met only one good Christian in this place. He asked me to restore his faith in the godliness of his town. But he never showed up for that mass, and I have not seen him since. Most people here seem suspicious of my teachings, and our one true Lord seems to have only a smattering of followers. We will try to meet for Holy Mass in secret. Your friend, Elliot. 26 December, 1919. Dear friend, I have discovered my true purpose here, to guide the sheep onto the path of righteousness. The horrors of the war have made the people here lose faith in God and have led them to seek comfort in the false faith of this cult. Although, I have discovered that this conversion took some time. They had few followers at first. I suspect that influential local figures managed to slowly lure folk in. So basically, what the story was that uh, Marsh family and uh, this sea, sea captain brought the uh, worship of the Dagon in, in 18, 1870s. So this town has been like something like a 50 years. P Pagan for, uh, for 40, 45 years or something at this point. This is probably why the remaining Christian people here wish to receive their mass in secret. To avoid the feeling of alienation that I, myself, am suffering from. But I feel they are not in any real danger. I have never seen any violence here. 13th February, 1920. My dearest friend, the war had nothing to do with anything. They are right. God has abandoned these lands. Two of my flock have disappeared without a trace, as the first case of that which I was warned of. I had thought that they came with impotent threats, only to run away with their tails between their legs. But now we must go and confront these people face to face. I think that this may be a dangerous move, but I feel that we have God on our side. Something smells fishy about all this. Yeah, fishy. We'll back to Armitage. Retaining noble gases. How to not fart in elite society. Okay. The Texas Babbage Machine Massacre. <laughs> Babbage Massacre. Uh. The Missing Ring. Studies of paleoanthropological marriages lacking commitment. Uh-huh. Lapland. Lap music and dances. No. <laughs> okay. And yet it moves. Treatise on erectile functions in the elderly. Eh. Planet of the three-headed apes. Get a brain. Culinary traditions in and around Salem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're so boned. How to train your dog. <laughs> Not that way. Dotting all the eyes. The art of sewing voodoo dolls. Wax on, wax off. Martial self-defense arts for the young. That guy's totally blocking it. Hello. Please, I'm busy. Be brief. Right then. I need to look at the books on that shelf. I'll just bet you do. What are you doing? I'm looking for a book, but I can't find it. What book are you looking for? Ancient Artifacts of Essex. Don't tell the boss I lost library property. He'll cut my pay. That guy's totally blocking it. So maybe it's misplaced. Wet pillow. Make a difference. Subtraction explained easily for the super rich. 
Here, there, and everywhere, so beware. Quantum Physics 101. <laughs> 1939. Suppose I try. Advances in rectal medication. Uh, Rare stamps. Cannibals of Italy. You okay. can't go home again. Touring the cannibal tribes of Papua New Guinea. Okay. Bird watching. Hot chicks of Massachusetts. No. <laughs> Diary of an electrician. Wired tales. <laughs> XXX. Letters from an illiterate. Wine tasting. For those who know their ass from a glass. <laughs> Fur, claws, and whiskers. Schools for cat stylists. Uh-huh. So my son is the devil. How to recognize the omens. <laughs> that would be totally American. The Anatomy book. of Amphibians by Professor Toad. Professor Toad. <laughs> Supersize me. The T-Rex and the Mediterranean diet. A catalog of all the books from A to Z. Catalogs make me... I'd much rather just browse the shelves. Okay. It won't open. Those are leaflets. It won't open. I cannot use those together. They might fall. Who is this Marsh character you were talking about? He is a ruthless man dwelling in that godforsaken place. Innsmouth? Aye. The mere mention of that name rings of blasphemy. I would like to borrow ancient artifacts of Essex. I can't find it. Son of a... <laughs> Ask Melvin. He didn't seem able to help me. Melvin! Where's the book this guy is looking for? It must be here. Uh, somewhere. I can't find it. He's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Let me check the logbook. Ah, uh, here it is. Melvin! Have you noticed that the book is out on loan? It can't be. Let me see that. It's always the same old story. You're always distracted. You have no commitment. <laughs> okay, now he's chaining to him. You treat the customers like garbage. You never do what I tell Let's take you. a look. There's not much about Innsmouth. That book on the third row from the bottom may be the same one that Train Geek was talking about. Never on your game. Uncultured. On the spine scum. it says transport in Essex. Your feet stick. No, it could fall over on top of me. You are ugly. You are useless. I have to pick it up first. You skim the profits. You can't catalog. A dog would do a better job. It's a railway history of Essex. Let's see now. Here it is. It seems that some years ago they started to build a railway to Innsmouth, but they were interrupted by strange circumstances, though it was a bustling commercial port. Maybe that book about commerce in the row below can add some insight. You're always distracted. You have no commitment. On the spine it says, You're rude. You treat the customers like garbage. You never do what I tell you. Let's see now. Here it is, commercial port of Innsmouth. There are pages and pages about the strange and sudden abundance of fish. It must have been an important and thriving port at that time. I wonder what happened to it so as to not even be marked on a map these days. Hey, oh, wait a second. It mentions here a gold refinery and the commerce of ancient jewels, as detailed in... Ancient artifacts of Essex. Damn it! Always the way. Mm. Yeah, sure. Never on your game. Uncultured scum. Your feet stink. You are ugly. You are useless. Talking to the mirror. Dry. You skim the profits. You can't catalog. A dog would do a better job. You're always distracted. I don't want to interrupt. It's just way too. You have no commitment. You're rude. I am almost sad for him. You treat the customers like garbage. You never do what I tell you. Where do you think you are going with those books? Put them back where they belong. 
immediately. Never on your game. Uncultured I've learned everything I can. Scum. Your feet stink. You are ugly. You are useless. That's not where it goes. Hmm. Somewhere about here. You skim the profits. You can't catch hmm. Somewhere about here. A dog would do a better job. You're always distracted. You have no commitment. I put I I suppose they didn't go in the right place. Pretty faithful. High Street, okay. YMCA. Okay, found it. Beatly Hillbillies. Don't bother me. Great. Thanks for spoiling. Bye, and I hope to never see you again. Guys? Guys? Guys! You guys rock! Here, cutie. Junior. Open. <laughs> okay. The train I arrived on in miniature. A cute little plant. I'll name him Chuck. Chuck. I suppose that was in the LucasArts games. They had like stuff named Chuck. That guy is ripped. Better not make him angry. Stand back. That's close enough. Nice train model. Thanks. I would like a room for the night. I'm sorry, I can't reach the keys up there. I lent my grabber to Melvin. He works at the library. I hope that hobo's blanket is queen-sized, and that he doesn't mind company. Or you could just track down Melvin. Get yeah, back to the library. Ah, it look, seems look. that the book was borrowed by a certain Andrew Hoplo. Get your nose out of there. That's none of your concern. Be that as it may, I could not help but notice Melvin's signature at the bottom. Son of a... Is this any way to treat a client? And he's right. There's your signature underneath. I'm sorry, boss. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say, Melvin. 
Because of your incompetence and your rudeness, you fired. Okay. Get we, out. we we got the, the boss. that guy fired. Out. But I just want to out. I've got a strange feeling of deja vu, except funnier. Can you give me your grabber? You don't need it anymore. <laughs> you don't need it anymore. <laughs> Oops. I really need ancient artifacts of Essex. It seems that Andrew Hoplo borrowed it, and as I have Hope come low. to expect, he is always late returning books. Tell me about Hoplo. You can usually find him strolling around aimlessly reading books with a suicidal face. Uh-huh. Stressful day? Yes. First the Marsh's Stooge, then Melvin. Uh, oh, I can't wait for this day to finally be over. Never mind. I need that book you're reading. Okay, he sees you. I have nothing else to read. Are you interested in commerce? Not in the slightest. Enough chit chat. Leave me be. I need that book, but I have nothing. Are you interested in trains? Well, perhaps I could be, even if I don't feel the need for speed. I can't just steal it. That big guy's got his eye on me. Okay, so now we need to go and check the library for the any other books he might might actually like. Never mind. There's not much about Innsmouth. On the spine it's Where do you think you're going with that library property? Okay, so we can't get it. Immediately. Can't get it. What was that, Jerry Poplar? Wait, uh, I have to check the logbook. <laughs> okay. Okay, it, it was this easy. I need that book you're reading. But I have nothing else to read. Are you interested in trains? Well, perhaps I could be, even if I don't feel the need for speed. Thanks. Return this book I was reading to the library for me, would you? Sure. Let's see now. It seems that someone from Innsmouth sold off some of its ancient artifacts and valuables years ago. Some of them are preserved at the Newburyport Historical Society. But that's where the crazy old lady kicked me out <laughs> from. 
I must find a way to get in. Maybe I can ask around for help. To visit the historical society, but I an old. To visit the historical society, but an old lady wouldn't let me in. Can you help me? How would I know? But now that you mention it, I have seen her flirting with the librarian now and then. Ah. Uh. Imagine you're back to return what you accidentally borrowed. I don't want to. I wanted to visit the historical society, but an old lady wouldn't let me in. Can you help me? Madame Tilton? Despite her age, is still very beautiful. Believe me, I've known her for many years. That woman conquered as many hearts as a spider conquered flies. Uh -huh. So you know her? Can you persuade her to let me in? Strange. That's the second time today that someone inquired about the madame. You're in league with that thug. Nonsense. I'd never even heard of Innsmouth before today. But I cannot deny that the mere mention of the name draws me to it strangely. Boy, listen to someone much older and wiser than you. Nothing good has ever come from that bloody place. However, a taste of historical culture never hurt anyone. Here, take this letter of introduction to the lady on my behalf. Where do you think you're going with that? Put it back where... Hmm, somewhere about here? <laughs> A letter of introduction, signed by the... I, I have this letter. From the librarian? Oh, such a... <laughs> okay, Come it works. On. And just ask if you need any help in the meanwhile. I read that you have some items from Innsmouth on display here. Young man, you're not the first to ask me that today. Why all the interest? Are you referring to that madman in the hat? Why? Is that bully a friend of yours? Not at all. Oh, that's a relief. Nothing good ever comes of those folk. He keeps threatening me. He wanted me to surrender some of my displays to the Marsh family, one of the richest and most important families of Innsmouth. Marsh. Marsh. I just heard that name somewhere. If you are researching Innsmouth, of course you will have heard of the Marshes. During the century just past, Captain Obed Marsh hoarded many treasures while voyaging the South Seas. Come, I'll show you some of the displays in the other room. After you. This painting was donated by a street artist on his way to Massachusetts. Apparently, it shows some kind of maritime ceremony. The curious thing is that in the background, you can see the dreaded Devil Reef, which lies off the coast of Innsmouth. Over here, there is a really interesting object. It's a bar relief from the South Seas, brought here to New England last century on the Sumatra Queen, the ship captained by Obed Marsh. Yeah. And this is one of the items the Marshes are most urgently demanding. 
These are some of the works of the famous artist Pigman. Yeah, Pigman's cool. Bizarre, imaginary creatures. They are disturbing. This is a Louis the Fourteenth Renaissance mirror. In Massachusetts? Asking too many questions can be dangerous, young lad. Okay. And these are some hand-carved statues from the South Seas. They depict anthropomorphic figures and other strange deities worshipped there. This is real English silverware, from Sheffield, to be precise. And this is another one of those disputed items. It's some kind of tiara. Uh, similar to the one shown in the relief over there. We obtained it for a rock bottom price from an Innsmouth drunk. A pity. <laughs> I wonder. We, we know who that drunk is. When the marshes demanded it back, we tried to find him to ask, but we heard he died in a bar fight. Oh, okay, not, not that is guy. Is it made entirely of gold? It's made from a strange alloy, which contains gold. Many things made from the same alloy were produced by the gold refinery that Ovid Marsh built after returning from his voyages. The place is abandoned now, though, I've heard. Feel free to take a look around. I must go attend to some matters before closing up. Kind of have a combination, but not really. A weird tentacular image, very similar to the one on the tiara. Could they be one? Ah, uh, there's there's a water. Why I didn't see that before? Okay, maybe it's too too late. <laughs> so let's try this again. Okay. Earth. Fire. Earth. Water. Earth. Fire. Water. Eureka. I don't need it. There's a message embossed on the metal. It looks like some kind of code. I should transcribe a copy of it somehow. A historical society, there's nothing on the back. Okay, so we now we need the pen, which we just lost. So, um... A historical, so there's nothing on the back. It fits perfectly. How lucky is that? Okay, so... If I had a pen, I could make a rubbing of it. Okay, so we Wait, need to... Wait, I have one, right here in my pocket. Wait. Wait. <laughs> that bloody homeless guy must have stolen it. I must get it back. I want it back. How dare you? I'm an honest beggar. <laughs> honest beggar. I wonder if the duty officer would agree with you. When you find him, say hi to James for me. You stole my... How? Then please, give me my pen back. What makes you think I have it? Quite sure it was missing after I spoke with you. Maybe I saw something, but my throat is dry. Okay. I have a little something for you. No, no, we need to use nice this. label indeed. Cipresso. and aged to perfection. What? Mm. I can already feel the dark taste. I want it. I want it. I'll trade it for the pen. All right, take your bloody pen. 
Now leave me alone. Okay, that was easy. Gave me a pen that doesn't even work. <laughs> a gift for my grandfather. It won't open. Better not. Better not. A gift for my grandfather for my coming of age. It won't open. A gift for my grand. <laughs> okay, so we need to fix the pen now. No end. I don't want to. Sorry, madam. Could you lend me a pen that actually works? Oh, such a shame. I spilled all my ink while I was cleaning. It seems the lady is really close. So the water is filled with the ink. That wouldn't help. It seems the lady is really closing up. It's a scale model of a pirate ship from the 17th century. All aboard! Arr! Silence! <laughs> Baroque pictures. It's a bit dirty, grubby, filthy, disgusting, lucky. It's a reproduction of an Octavian Augustus bust. We could go and try to get a pen from the bombs at Bowser here. a pen that actually works my pens are only for viewing only if I must nice pens the best it's a very rare collection unique in all the world so I imagine you don't use them for Sudoku that train model is surely the best piece in your collection Heretic, that rubbish is only even allowed here as a token for trading. Do okay. I look like a train He's... collector to you? Do I have pimples, wear glasses, or keep cheap pens in my top pocket? I'll just be going then. Maybe you can trade your trade. Okay, and now he's, he's offering it. it. Leave it on the counter. Now, please, stand back. 
away from my pen. Okay, okay. You were the one who said to come closer. Hmm, cute. I will add it post-haste to my collection. You can have the train. More <laughs> on? <laughs> what? Nothing, just a throat tickle. What have I done? I can't believe it. Please forgive me, Grandfather. Could you lend me a pen that actually works? Uh, I believe that I this might the ones work. They give away on trains. But they don't just give away pens on trains. Exactly. That wouldn't help. Could you lend me a pen? I own but the eggs. I don't want to. It's a very rare scale model of a train. It won't open. Could you lend me a pen that actually works? I only have the ones they give away on trains. But they don't just give away pens on trains. Exactly. Could you lend me a pen that actually works? If you can get that train geek out of the station, you can have this one for free. He scares the other passengers away. See ya. See you around. Cat can't talk to him. I have a gift for you. Thank you. I'm going to go home and play with it right now. Done. Can you give me that pen now? Here you go. You deserve it. Thanks. Late over an hour and we are not still in in spot. Although that's probably the end, end ending location of the of the game. of the code such strange symbols they look very ancient look like looks like a morse code or something oh no not that one okay so we have some weird code no Trust me, I've had a bad day. Do not take me off. Be gone, scum. What the? You actually want me to smash your skull in with this grabber? Okay. <laughs> Let's pick that up. Whoa, he is totally down for the count. Such a shame. Kinda. What the hell happened to him? <laughs> oh well, whatever. <laughs> looting the guy. So, you have the grabber? It's a little bloody, but still works fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, use it yourself. The room is 237. 
Do you even have such a room? The regressive room numbering starts from the YMCA in Agawam and ends with the one in Worcester. I can't reach it. Mr. Marsh, the master plan has failed. Don't worry, though. Luck is on our side. What we need will be delivered straight to our door. <laughs> as I already told you, we have nothing further to discuss. And as I already told you, we do not accept no for an answer. The tiaras is ours by right. A perfect rubbing of the code. There's someone <laughs> still here. He sees. I thought you were closed by this hour. Oh well. You will be all alone next time. And I will defend myself alone even then. Such strange symbols. They look very interesting. <laughs> he's, he's speaking everything right. aloud. Today is your but he thinks. day. Good night, Madame Tilton. The attacker? Buy a copy to learn more. I'll take it. Read all about it. Teen brutally bashed during the night. The case of the bashed teen, exclusive only in the Daily Newsberry Port. I have barely. Extra, extra. Basher of Newberry Port. I can't. Read all about it. I don't want that. Teen brutally bashed during the night. The case of the ba The front page of the paper tells of the battery upon poor hapless Melvin. Exclusive only in the Daily Newsberry Port. Extra, extra. Ba One, two. It's two dollars and fifty cents to Arkham. It stops by Innsmouth, right? Right. Read all about it. Teen brutally bashed during the night. The day was warm despite the rain. The landscape of sand, sedge grass, and stunted shrubbery became more and more desolate as we proceeded. Our narrow course began to climb steeply, and I felt a singular sense of disquiet in looking at the lonely crest ahead where the rutted roadway met the sky. I had, I realized, come face to face with rumor-shadowed Innsmouth. It was a town of wide extent and dense construction, yet one with a portentous dearth of visible life. The next to Newburyport is tomorrow. But I must head on to Arca... Oh well, arrived, arrived in Innsmouth. Alright, oh, this is probably enough for today. And I hope this... Yeah, the game, game can crash. Okay, that's, that's very fine. Okay, how do we... How do we close the game? 